What's up YouTube videos? This is Typo82. Today I'm going to be talking about, well, <clears throat> well, let me ask myself, you want me to review with this? Well, it was after Tim Burton's movies Batman and Batman Returns. Now I'm going to do the review with this. Joe Schumacher's films Batman Forever and Batman Robin. So, as you can see here, I have the other two films. I never saw Batman, or Rob Batman Forever in the theaters, but I saw Batman or Robin in theaters. Oh man, what are we, what are we talking about? I don't know. So, in, if you see uh, my friend Harry Knight to Seven when he did a review with this, and um, yeah, he he did it himself. So he made, because this film was a could be worst movie or something like that, but he. But Batman Forever, he was okay with it, but it's not. But who knows? But let me tell you, it's there, but it's not. But I prefer the Tim Burton's films. But including including Robin, was when introduced it was this these two films here. So anyway, uh, Val Kilmer as Bruce Wayne, not as Batman, and of course George Clooney has. Bruce Wayne as Batman in Batman Robin and Val Kilmer as Batman Forever. In two different people, what happened Michael Keaton? I don't know. But basically, we have these these two on on the Blu-ray here. Now let's look at it behind them. Uh, the images about the one you saw it on the movies. Yeah, as you can see here, if you saw the movies or not, go see the one that I'm talking about. Yeah, this whole thing was right there in, in, in and of course, the one is right there. Val Kimmer is Batman, and Chris O'Donnell is Dick Grayson, known as uh, Robin. And the same butler that I know, Michael Goff, when he did the Tim Burton's films, and then last time in George Schumacher's films. Now the villains. Um, in Batman Forever, Harvey Dent, known as Harvey Two-Face, was... Harvey Two-Face was Tommy Lee Jones. He also knew what he did to a mini black series. Captain America as a general, I saw that movie, but he's an amazing actor. But what he did in Harvey Two Face, I don't know. It's not even scary, like like the before Aaron Eckhart was the in the Dark Knight series. In he's amazing. The good job was there, and the Riddler was was the Riddler. Uh, Jim Carrey, for example, if you saw an angry video game nerd when he's talking about Jim Carrey, because everybody was always was talking about not just be not just a B villain like Frank Corshin in 1960s of Batman. He's amazing when he did in the Riddler, just like the or even uh, the comic book series. But here, the Jim Carrey, it's just being Jim Carrey. For example, yeah, I'm agreeing with that. Same thing when he did it, The Mask or Ace Ventura movies. But I have no comment with that. But I don't know. But anyway, and of course, Nicole Kidman was Dr. Chase Marin. She's a beautiful actress that I saw. If you never saw the other ones, was a uh, Beat Witch, the, the remake movie. Um, I don't know. I have no clue what it's all about. So I like Nicole Kidman, but still a little bit of count. But yeah, let's talk about the movies here. So that's that's on the Batman Forever, and now we're talking about the villains in Batman Robin. Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. Is that an amazing choice? But why was in the dialogue I just say ice or cold or chill? Same thing and then what he did to Angry Video Game Nerd what he said. Maybe this movie right here is something wrong with the script or something. Why not using in the animated series in the 90s cannot say ice or cold? Well, I don't know. I see that in the animated series, believe me. And Uma Thurman was Poison Ivy and Bane was there in Batman Batman Robin. 
And of course, uh, Alicia Silverstone as Batgirl. Another introduced it was after a Robin. Well, basically. So, Joe Schumacher's films is everything in there was after the Tim Burton's movies. But I prefer Tim Burton's movies. But Joe Schumacher, a little bit, it is not which one is the best in, in person of Batman, for example. Val Kimmer and George Clooney want each different people. But Michael Caine still in two films in in one the same person. Oh man, yeah, believe me, I know what it is. Yeah, well, it was before it was that. So, well, basically, what happens is this. Ah, and of course, ah, the bat suit that I'm going to talk about. I prefer Michael Keaton's bat suit. Yeah, it's an armor, nothing to see. It was kind of cool, but. Val Kimmer and George Clooney, both different in the bat suit. Why don't they put the nipples on it? According to an angry video game nerd, yeah, it's kind of too much. That is this whole thing. Ah, and even in Astonish a Critic, when I saw the review of uh, Batman Robin review, it was a funny, funny episode of what he said. Uh, maybe he said he's trying to kill himself or complain and everything, but he was funny person I know. Oh man, this is what happens. Uh, this whole thing was a little bit mess. I don't know why. So this is, but if you like these movies and if you like it or not, go see it. So that's my own opinion. So that doesn't matter. I prefer Ted Burton's movies. Uh, and of course, Christopher Nolan's movies. I'm doing it a review with that. And so um, that was it. So that's, uh, Uh, yeah, and uh, Michael Goff was amazing. Uh, uh, Alfred and uh, the rest of them, the cast was amazing. But it's but this movie is kind of a little bit twist or something like that. But I saw it's not, but it's there. So now even my friend said uh, Harry Nine Two Seven when he did review with that. Well, yeah, basically that was what happened. You want to look at it once again? So. This image is right there is amazing. But to tell you the truth, I really like the balls of Batmobiles, basically. And the Tim Burton, I really like the balls. The Tim Burton's Batmobile and Joe Schumacher's. Two different of Batmobiles. Oh, oh yeah, that was, that was coincidence and I saw. Yeah, well, it's time is changing, basically. And so that's that's Joe Schumacher's films, and and of course the the logo basically. Now, if you saw my last review of Tim Burton's movies Batman on Blu-ray, I'm talking about the logo here. Now, Batman Forever is like a question mark with Batman, and of course Batman Robin the symbol. I like the balls, but it's okay. But the movie is kind of a little disappointing to me, but it's not. So I prefer Tim Burton and. Then the cover I really like. The original, it's not quite, but it's, yeah, it, yeah, it's there. Yeah, so, um, yeah, why can I say this? So, this is Joe Schumacher film, so, I don't know. Alright then, thank you guys for watching my, my reviews of the Joe Schumacher films, and I hope you really like my opinion. So, what do you think? Please let me know. Stay tuned for more of my reviews of Batman. And I hope you like it. So, see you guys.